Well, Jacob, Hellions is the strangest movie I have seen in recent memory. I don't even know what this... Like, I don't even know what my opening word would be about this movie. It's so disjointed, just fucking weird, and... You may think that all of those are bad things. And they might be. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm still not really sure what the hell I, what, what, what I watched. But I know I was intrigued. So Hellions made its premiere at Sundance uh, earlier in 2015. So normally that means, you know, awesome filmmaking. It's uh, by a guy named Bruce McDonald who turned in a hell of a movie with Pontypool. I love Pontypool. I hate zombies. I hate you everything do. zombie related. I don't, but, but you do. But yeah, yeah. And I love Pontypool. So that should tell you something. Like, that's a good ass movie right there. It really is. I, I guess I may, might have expected Hellions to be more in that vein. Anything within the realm of logic, I guess. <laughs> something that might make sense. It doesn't. Um, what it does is that it follows a young girl who is 17 who finds out she's pregnant in the you know very opening minutes of the of the film? It's on Halloween night, and she is left home alone, um, waiting to, uh, for her boyfriend to pick her up so she can go attend a party. Pretty much the stereotypical setup for a movie like this. She's your she's gonna be your survivor girl. No, <laughs> not even kind of. Psych. Eventually, some little hellions show up at as the, the name might imply. Right. They show up at the front door. They want candy really fucking bad. They really do. They keep knocking on the door. They don't go away. And then eventually she looks down in the bag like, don't you have enough candy? Right. And to see something crazy. Yeah. And from that moment forward, they they just Spiral drop the off the fucking deep end. I kept thinking, this is some Wizard of Oz level of weird shit. Oh, shit. Like, yeah, yeah that is very Wizard of oz -esque. But it doesn't wrap up nice like the Wizard of Oz does <laughs> at all. T-1000 shows up out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't make a whole lot of fucking sense, but he shows up and yep. he's doing some shit. I'm not, uh, I'm probably not as low on the film as it may sound like I am, um, because I actually did enjoy it. Once it drops off that cliff we were talking about, everything changes camera included like it looks like the ghost hunter shows you oh uh, like the infrared yeah like the shit, infrared the clear cameras stuff. yeah super purple and the clouds look fucking purple. outrageous and there's like a windstorm blowing Inside the indoors house. very very symbolic like this is a movie about childbirth and i guess the inner struggle of the chaos of the mind of someone that is that just found out they're pregnant when they're not ready for it. That's what I got out of it. It was definitely trying to say something about pregnancy. I don't know what that thing was, whether it was like some kind of commentary on abortion or not abortion or teenage pregnancy. You're not, un you don't understand what the commentary is. Like, you know that there's something trying to be said to you. It's not smelling shit out for you. Because the thing is, like, I'm wondering, like, are all these little hellions, are they all like aborted kids? And like, what is this? There's a huge pumpkin patch that she's randomly in sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes she's not. Does that mean anything? I don't fucking know. We've been through our fair share of like symbolic horror movies, so. And I typically like them. But this shit just jumps so often and so wildly. Is this a dream? Is it not a dream? Is this a house? Is this a pumpkin patch? Oh, we're in a barn now. There's a voice. Whose voice is that? Oh, that's the sheriff's voice. The sheriff's dead. Oh, wait, but I'm in the sheriff's house, but I'm back in a pumpkin patch. And there's like, there's a looting at times to like maybe the child within her isn't okay like maybe it's like a spawn of satan or something Th there came a time where i bought in to the insanity that was going around like I, I accepted that this is not what i thought it was going to be this is something completely different um and i and i, and I just you, you lost hope you gave up yeah hope. yeah jesus take the wheel like this, <laughs> this is where we are now we really can't spoil this movie for you because we don't know how there's no way anyone could <laughs> We started with an awesome concept, and then we didn't finish with a, a, a even halfway decent story. You don't really finish at all. As negative as this may sound, I did enjoy it. That's what's so crazy about it. I mean, I'm definitely unsatisfied with the story, with the way everything plays out, or lack thereof how things play out. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm definitely unsatisfied with that. I did like um, the point where she, she ends up with a firearm. She immediately has her finger on the trigger, just waving that shit around <laughs> and then she goes outside to where she might want to shoot something and she has her finger off the yep, trigger yep, i'm like yep. what the fuck is going on no, none of it makes any sense no. part part of me did enjoy it if you're looking for a challenge to figure out <laughs> right. what the movie's about 
please go watch it and tell me what the fuck it's about. Yeah. I don't know. If you so choose, it comes out this Friday. Uh, that is September 18th. Courtesy, Sounds good. Courtesy of IFC Midnight. Right. That is Hellions. Go check it out. September 18th. Tell us what you think. <laughs>